Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So this is a pretty crazy story right here. Brian McIntyre, who trains Terrence Crawford, and he also trained Chris Eubanks to beat Liam Smith in a rematch this past weekend. He was trying to return back to the U.S. and got arrested at the airport. According to reports, they found a loaded gun in his suitcase and ammunition. He's been charged with possession of a firearm and possession of ammunition, and now he'll be in jail at least until October 9th. Once again, this is all according to the reports. Originally, when this was reported, I think a lot of people, including myself, thought that he got arrested and he'll just be in jail for a day or two. This situation is turning out to be a lot more serious. And it's unfortunate considering the fact that Bo Mackey obviously wants to get back home and start working with his team, but that's about to all be delayed now. And there's no guarantee that he's going to even get out of jail on October 9th. We'll just have to see how this all plays out. I'll keep you guys posted on any updates. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. If you could comment about your trainer and your job, he can pull back. If you could uh, make a comment about what it feels like for you to win a fight at this level against a guy who is highly respected like Derek James. Well, I just look at it like this, man. Uh, I just look at all the training that we put in, all the months that we put in. And uh, I was the never worried. And as far as going up against Derek James, it's, it's an honor. It's an honor. He's uh, you know, last year, the year before last tournament of the year. And, uh, you know, they never really gave us our props. Uh, you know, the, the writers, the reporters, the, you know, our, you know, our websites. So, I mean, I'm just glad. You know, it hasn't, it hasn't sunk in yet, but it will pretty soon. It just, to me, I just look at it like it's another day. And you also got to give props out to the whole team. You got Saul Diego's right here. You got Red Spike. Come on, we're up here, Red. You got Bernie the Hunter. Uh, you even got Steve Soko. You know what I'm saying? He helps out a lot. You know, he uh, sometimes you see what we don't see. Uh, you got Chet. Chet Ray Jermaine. Chet, the strength and conditioning coach. Where Ashley at? We're going to Ashley right there. She's another strength and conditioning coach. We got, we got chefs, we got dietitians, we got everything. It's a TEF. Ain't got all about me getting my flowers. If you're going to get my flowers, we're going to get the whole team the flowers. That's right. Team work makes a team work better. Thanks. 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 No, not at all. Like I would have said right before, I don't think there ever going to be a moment to actually make me feel the way I felt when I was in Scotland like that. Because that was my whole dream. You know, uh, I was filled with so much excitement to go all, over, all the way over to Scotland. Me, the little bit of family that I had, my team and to come back a world champion, something that I dreamed of all my life as a kid. My dreams came true that one night. This is definitely up there because this is a fight that's been talked about for many years. This is a fight that when I walk in the store, my kids watch me on YouTube, everybody asks me, when you fight the sweats? When you fight the sweats? Dad, this dude said he's scared of Smiths. So, me always having to hear this guy again, it's like a fresh, a fresh, a fresh air that I, that I get to breathe because we found the book and I'm just going it over with. Terrence Sutton straight back here, all the way in the back. Dan Ray, if you know what you're looking for, Congratulations, incredible performance from him tonight. My question for you is, you won so easily. He says he wants the rematch. How do you go about getting yourself up once again to take out a guy you just completely destroyed? Well, one thing about me, I don't take no fire light, right? So I'm always known for each and every one of the fires that I'm facing. Y'all know that from the past, but my performances and how I come and run 110% prepared every time I step foot in. And just one other question for you. 
once you get past Arrow, you know, once that chapter is closed, you have the rematch. And you can allow yourself a moment to think at any time, like what else is out there for you? Is it a championship at 54 and a specific fighter? Perhaps middleweight someday? What, what other sort of goals do you have besides that you've, you've done so much already? I don't know. I don't know. In two months, I've been 36 years old. I've been boxing since I was seven years old. I've been doing sports all my life since I was seven. You know, uh, I don't know. I got to sit down with my team. We'll talk about the future. All right, so now we have a very special presentation to award Terrence Bud Crawford, the undisputed welterweight champion of the world for the first time in the four belt. Now we have the legendary Ring Magazine championship being presented to Terrence Bud Crawford of Omaha, Nebraska. Terrence, um, you know, when you see that, the lineage, and now it belongs to you. I love it. I love it. So be honest, I wish they would have the original. But it is what it is. I'm going to go on the line, find your ammunition, and the staff, right here. So for all of you guys that doubted me, for all you guys that said I was too small, I was actually too strong. <laughs> and now that everybody, you know what I mean, they get to witness greatness, like I said before, and it's the Terrence Crawford era here. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Terrence Mark Crawford, Brian Bowman, Patrick Tyler, the entire Crawford team. Congratulations, guys. All the best, and thank you very much to all the media for covering Spence Crawford Fight Week. And thank you so much for joining us here in Las Vegas. What a historic night. As Terrence Mark Crawford is the undisputed welterweight champion of the world for the first time from the four belt era, the first male boxer to be undisputed yeah. in two divisions. Yeah. Terrence Buckbrook yeah. remaining undefeated yeah. here tonight in Las Vegas. Congratulations yeah. to Terrence yeah. Buckbrook. Thank you to All the media time, for joining us. Good night, everybody. Sugar Ray Robinson, Willie Pep, Joe Lewis, huh? Yeah. Green yeah. Magazine three times. Yeah. Three times. Yeah. Terrence yeah. Crawford error. Y'all better bow down and apologize. Huh? Yeah, apologize. Talk. Turn them into believers, you understand? <laughs> Who we praise? The man upstairs, he give us the glory. Huh? All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. My name is Chris and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at Scout Carolinas and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up and I saw one for SMP and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after and I was looking at that and, they, you know, it caught my attention so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? 
And uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole whole treatment, we talked and you know about our families and our life and you know and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. When you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina, South Carolinas, to get this done.